Welcome back to my channel. I'm Kara Lee. This is chapter two, my retired life. I'm taking a few days to go with my sisters on vacation next week. So basically I am taking you along with me this week, just letting you know the prep that I'm going to do for my husband when I go out of town. I know that he can fend for himself. It just gives me peace of mind to know that the laundry's done, the dishwasher's empty, there's food in the refrigerator, his favorite snacks. So I'll take you along with me as I uh, prepare his favorite meals. I'm going to have bananas and apples and his favorite pudding and just uh, his favorite snacks. If he goes out to eat every day, that's fine. At least I'll know there's stuff in the refrigerator. I also wanted to let you know I do have a weight loss this week. Um, I started my weight loss journey on this channel January 25th. And I was 194.2. I am now 180.7. So I've lost 13 and a half pounds. So I'm very excited to tell you that. I know I don't tell my weight loss every single week. I just, I do get on the scale every week. Don't get me wrong, but I just don't put it in every single weekly video. But I will update you throughout my journey for sure because my goal, um, I don't know the goal weight. Um, I have a goal weight in my head, but I won't know until I get there, you know. Um, this channel isn't going to always be all about weight loss. It will always be about healthy living, healthy eating. But hopefully one day I will be at my goal weight and then I'll be in a maintenance mode. But I still do intermittent fasting. I still firmly believe in that. But I also believe that when you go out of town, you can indulge a little bit and then you get right back on track. So that's a uh, part of my journey is not losing it so quickly that you, you can't ever have a cheat day or a cheat meal, but you just have to know you have to get right back on track. So I think getting the weight off slower will probably keep it off longer in the long term. You know what I mean? it'll stay off. So, and I've been doing my 30 minute workouts every day. I've been drinking my water every day. I watched a video last week. Her name is Kathleen Hart. I think it, her um, Instagram is little piece of heart and I'll um, insert her picture, but she drinks four 30 ounce Yetis a day. And like right when she gets up, because you're dehydrated throughout the night. So she wants to hydrate herself when she first wakes up. So she'll drink 30 ounces right when she gets up. And then before lunch, she's drank another 30 ounces. So before noon, she's had 60 ounces of her water. So she said, instead of just sipping it throughout the day, which is what I've been doing with my 100 ounces a day, I just sip it and you're, you know, you, you get to that mundane, like it, this is mundane every day, every day, I gotta drink my water instead she gulps it down like 30 ounces and she gulps it down instantly. So you're not feeling like I'm tired of drinking water every day when water is what you need to be drinking every day, half of your body weight every day. It flushes all those toxins. It helps you stay fuller longer, but I'm going to try that. I'm going to try gulping it down instead of sipping it throughout the day. Um, and just to see if, well, obviously you'll drink it faster if you do that. And so I'm going to give that a try. I thought I would let you know, just uh, pass that tip along from her. But um, I do have that weight loss and let's get started with the day. And I'll show you all the food prep that I'm going to have. Okay. This is the weekend before I leave. I leave Monday. I'm going to be gone for a few days. So <laughs> I've got four loads of laundry. So I'll put, get this started and then get started with food prep.
All right, I thought I'd show you what I got from Sam's and Walmart. I didn't get that much, but I'm gonna be gone for a few days. So I thought I would have some things in the refrigerator for my husband. He really has been loving these Alani. They're energy drinks and uh, zero sugar. So they have different flavors. The cherry slush is really good. Of course, I got him some bananas. Got him some carrots to snack on, some strawberries, blueberries he can have with yogurt. He loves the sugar-free yogurt. I mean, I'm sorry, the sugar-free Jello. This is the chocolate vanilla swirl. I've never bought this for him before. Uh, I normally just get the chocolate, but I'm sure he'll like that. He loves oatmeal. He loves the protein with the cranberry almond by Quaker. And then this is what I got from Sam's. He loves the Robert Irvine Fit Crunch. They're the protein bars. And they come in two different flavors and they're 190 calories each. So he really likes those. Then just for some snacks, the Sargento Balance Breaks, it's just cheese and crackers. Uh, the, there's some with Ritz and some with Wheat Thins. So that's just for a little snack for him. He loves the Duke's Shorty Sausages. They're only one gram of sugar. They're really uh, good for you, good ingredients. So he really likes those, good protein. Then I got his favorite yogurt that he likes, Activia. Got that from Sam's. And it comes in three different flavors, black cherry, strawberry, and peach. Um, also from Sam's, I got the lunch meat oven roasted turkey breast. And this was also from Walmart. I got him the 45 calorie Sara Lee Delightful. And then the Sargento Sharp Cheddar. So, he's set for the week. I'm going to do some meal prep for him. But this is just a few of the snacks that I got for him while I'm gone. I also have my dog treats I want to fill up before I leave town. So I took the old ones out and now I'm going to fill them up. extra that I will uh, just give him before I leave. Make sure that top will seal. There's that one. And we've got the, uh, he loves these blue buffalo large bones. Got Toby set for the week too. I got a new container from Walmart today for my Tide. I was using this smaller one, but it's just not big enough. So I hate messing with this opener, the slide opener, and I don't have children in the house and I keep it up high anyway, but it's just easier for me to put them in a container. So I found this larger one. 
at Walmart today. Whoa, let's not break it. There we go. All ready for the week. Okay, the first meal that I'm gonna prep for my husband is creamy taco soup. These are all the ingredients you'll need, just hamburger meat, taco seasoning. I'm just gonna do half of this onion, some garlic. I use the, is it fourth? Third less fat Philadelphia cream cheese, one can of Rotel, one can of beef broth. I'm gonna chop up the onion and brown it with the ground beef and the garlic. And then all you do is throw everything in there together it's yummy, delicious, creamy, and you can top it with shredded cheddar, avocado, sour cream, whatever you'd like. But with this, just these ingredients with nothing else added, it serves four people and it's 347 calories per person. So um, I'm just going to put it in a container and my husband can take it out and reheat it whenever he likes. He'll probably put some shredded cheddar on top. He may even put a couple of tortilla chips underneath and pour the uh, taco soup over it. But that will make give me peace of mind that he'll have something here ready to heat up if he wants to. So now I've got the onions, ground beef, the 93% lean, and the garlic. Now I'm going to add the taco seasoning. You can make your own, but I just bought a packet. Just gonna stir that in. Then we're gonna add the um, one can of beef broth, one can of Rotel, and then the last thing you have to add is your cream cheese. And that basically is gonna melt in there. And you're gonna let it simmer for about 20 minutes and your soup's done. It's that simple and easy. If you wanted less calories, then leave the cream cheese out. If you wanna add black beans or pinto beans to uh, bulk up your meal, by all means, that would just be more calories, but it would taste delicious. But this is the low calorie version. And so as soon as this uh, simmers for about 20 minutes, I'll let it cool and I'll just put it in a container for my husband and he'll have some soup ready for the week. Okay, while the taco soup is simmering, I'm gonna make another meal that he'll have ready to heat up and it's a shrimp bowl. We'll have an easy rice to put on the bottom of the bowl. I'm gonna cook the shrimp in the oven, just uh, heat that at 400 for about 20 minutes. Then I'll put the broccoli in the microwave until that's done and the sweet potatoes in the microwave until that's done. And we'll saute all that together with this Polynesian sauce. It's sugar-free and it's 10 calories for two tablespoons. I'm not sure how much I'll put in yet uh, but it's delicious. Um, I love at Chick-fil-A their Polynesian sauce and so that's what made me want to grab that off the shelf and it is good. But I'll get this all ready and I'll show you the finished bowl. Got the soup in a bowl and I'm just gonna put the lid on. It looks creamy and delicious and this will be kept in the refrigerator until he needs it. Okay, I ended up not roasting the shrimp in the oven. I thought it would be better just to use the saute pan. So I sauteed the shrimp for about 10 minutes in extra virgin olive oil spray. Then I heated the broccoli and the sweet potatoes in the microwave, whatever time it told me. I think it was five minutes per bag. Drained those, added those to the shrimp. And now I'm just gonna put the sugar-free dipping sauce on it. Um, I'll just eyeball it. 
I know if you're counting calories, you don't want to eyeball it, but, so don't do as I say. <laughs> I mean, don't do as I do, do as I say. Let's see how much that is. It's a pretty thick sauce. And you could even leave it out of the pan and just put it over your bowl once you're finished. That way it would be even easier to calculate how much sauce you're putting on it. The shrimp has salt and pepper. I think I'm gonna just let him put more sauce on it because I think it looks pretty good. I don't want to break up the sweet potatoes too much. I'm going to let him cook his rice. It's just one of those 90-second microwavable Uncle Ben's rice. So he'll cook that. He'll put that in a bowl, and this will go on top. And then he can add some more Polynesian sauce if he wants. But an easy shrimp bowl. I was packing my luggage, and I just realized I haven't ended my video yet. So... Um, I hope you enjoy the recipes that I shared. I hope that you'll give those a try. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe and like this video. We'd love to have you as part of our YouTube family. I know that if you're struggling like me, like I have been my whole life, if you're on a journey to lose weight, to get healthy and get fit, my suggest number one suggestion is if you don't enjoy working out, if you hate the gym, if you hate the treadmill, at least get 10,000 steps in a day. Walk, just walk and drink your water. Those would be the two main things to get you going in the right direction. Drink your water and walk as many steps as you can a day and that baby steps, you know, and then eventually uh, you might get on that treadmill or start jogging or running. I know my knees aren't the best. I'm over 50, so the elliptical is what's best for me or walking Toby when the weather's nice. But um, I struggle some days. I'm, everyone does, you know. We, we all need encouragement. We all need a little pick-me-up. And no one likes to eat carrots and celery and radishes every day. Everyone wants to indulge once in a while. So that's why I try to make flavorful meals for my family and I don't want it to be boring, but I still want it to stay low calorie, low carb. I try to make it as interesting as I can, but some days you just want those old comforting meals that you grew up with. And believe me, I understand that. And like when I go on vacation, I like to indulge a little bit, but I still try to be conscious of what I'm putting in my body because you don't want to go take two steps back, one step forward. You know, you still want to try to maintain your weight when you're on vacation. Don't gain 10 pounds when you're on vacation, you know, because then you're, you're never going to get to your goal. So that's, I'm trying to encourage myself too. But as always, I hope you have a blessed week, whether you're staying home, whether you're going out of town, and make this day count. Make good choices. And I love you to the beach and back.